Hello everyone, I'm Matt, and I'm here to tell you why what I liked about New Jersey is completely wrong. Because when you're going to the Jersey Shore, it could take sometimes 45 to even an hour to get to the shore. Because of all this traffic that are down there, everyone has the same idea. So they're all on the roads that head down to that general area on a nice, warm, sunny day. Plus, when you get there, as I stated before, there's a lot of traffic. So when people are all trying to get to the beach, there's barely any parking. You either have to pay a hefty amount of 15 to 20 for parking to get a somewhat decent spot. Or you would have to park streets away and you would have to walk all the way over to the beach. This is going hand in hand with all these people. So once you even get toward the beach... There's a lot of people waiting to get on the beach with you, and you're sometimes 5 to 10 feet away from them. On top of all that, you're even paying to get into these beaches, arounding like 5 to $10 per person. And these beaches aren't even completely clean. There's like stuff thrown around that people are very careless about. Another thing about New Jersey is that Great Adventure and Hurricane Harbor. Along with the beach, it is overcrowded. They allow a lot more people, so there's a long line trying to get on one of your favorite rides. On top of that, they're charging people way too much money to go to all these rides. With all this money that's being spent, some of the rides aren't even open. So you're expecting all these benefits to get on any ride you may want to get on to, but they might not even be open. And plus, they don't even clean all the water, the water parks as much as they should. Because it's being outside, so dirt gets on there. So when everyone's riding on all of that, you would expect everything, but you know, it's not cleaned as much as you would think it is. As I said before, there's pollution on the beaches, but also New Jersey is polluted itself. There's smokestacks off the New Jersey Turnpike. Like, that shouldn't be happening. And also in New Jersey, there's a high, there's crime rates in cities, like high crime rates, I'm sorry. But let's take a look at like Newark, which is close to us, or Camden, or Rahway. Like there's a lot of cases over there you may hear on the news, from New Jersey at least. So, well, New Jersey is also one of the highest COVID cases in the country. So you got to think about it. New Jersey really has the virus spreading around quickly and it's not it's crazy to even think about that we live in this place also the taxes to live here are super high like it's very expensive to live here but if you lived in other states it wouldn't be as much as it is here on top of that the insurance rate also are skyrocketing which is crazy as well and I think about new york city well, I stated prior in the argument that it was pretty close, but now when you really think about it, it's not as close as you think it is. It's an hour away. So you have to either take a train there, or if you're driving there, you might not even find parking at all, because there's way too many cars, and that's a city that never sleeps. And plus, now with the pandemic going on, there's barely anything open, so you're just going there, but there's really nothing going to happen. So, there's really no point of, like, going down, you know what I mean? So, in conclusion, like, New Jersey is just getting worse. Like, personally, I would want to get out of the state and move somewhere where the COVID cases aren't as high as it is now. My family's on the same boat as me because, you know, they want to stay healthy and they hopefully don't want to get anyone else sick. And I agree with that, personally. So, this is why... I think that, you know, what I stated in my first speech is completely wrong.